Hi, welcome to the third episode of Chatbot Creation. In our second episode, we have seen how we have created an AI fabric model for converting German text into English. In this episode, we are going to go ahead and have a look at how we can con create a model of AI fabric to convert English language into German. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nisar Gukadam and let's get started with our today's video. So now I have navigated to UiPath's AI uh, cloud, which is nothing but platform.uipath.com. So once you navigate to platform, you can see the platform available here. You can see the orchestrator services are available and AI fabric. As discussed in previous video, you need, in order to utilize AI fabric, you need enterprise trial edition. So I have also attached a link of how you can enable enterprise trial edition. You can go through that video. In previous video, we have created German to English package. In today's video, we are going to create a project for English to German. So this is going to take input as English text and convert it into German. So which is pretty cool. Now let's go ahead, let's say create. Once you create this, you go ahead and you go to the ML packages. Now you don't need data sets or pipeline is because what we are using is the pre-trained models, which are not retrainable. So I'm going to go ahead and do ML packages and in ML packages, I'm going to select language translation. This time I'm going to select, so previously we have selected German to English. This time I'm going to select English to German. You can see the package is not retrainable. So we don't need any pipelines to be included and we don't need to retrain the model. Now this model was open source by Facebook AI research and the input is going to be English text and output is going to be translated German language text. Now let's submit it and let's name the package as English to German. Choose the package version, which is by default and submit. Now once you submit ML package, you have created a package of ML. Now we have to create ML skill. Click on create new, enter the name, which is going to be English, sorry, to German. This time we are going to select the package which we have created, select the major version, minor version, and the skill description. So the description of the skill is nothing but it converts, it takes, you can type, it takes input as English. language and uh, and gives German reply. So I'm just going to type anything that I want. Now I have not enabled GPU because I don't have GPU enabled as I've already told you I'm using enterprise trial edition. Now this package is also being deployed. Now it is still deploying, it will take some time, click on ML logs and you can see the both of the logs as we have seen in the previous video. Now we have our second project, which is English to German also up. However, let's look at whether this both of the skills have been deployed and available or not. So the deployment is done, but it will take some time to, to utilize this particular ML skill because it will take some time to deploy. Now uh, let's navigate to our UI path orchestrator and let's navigate to ML skill under management tab. And you can see, now we have added two packages or two ML skills in our UiPath orchestrator, which is nothing but German to English and English to German. The description is displayed here, which we have given in the ML skill creation. There is no GPU available. The version is one, predictions are zero because it's not being used yet and the status is still deployed. So it will take some time, couple of minutes to deploy. Uh, it, will, it will not take more than an hour, but hardly it will take some around, something around 10 minutes or five minutes. So you'll have to wait for that. And once the status is available, we will proceed with our next video where we are going to create a UiPath workflow in UiPath Studio, which will automatically take an input from German text and it will ask user and it will show user the, the English translation, ask user for a reply and then answer back with a German text. So this we are going to do in our next video. So stay tuned and let's see you at episode number four. Till the time, happy automation.